Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to go through uh, just a little tutorial on how to get into Bacassana or Crow Pose. Uh, so you're going to want to block and just make sure that you've done a little bit of uh, warm up before this. Maybe uh, take a look at one of those uh, sun salutation or, or quick daily practice videos on the channel. You're also going to need a block and we're going to start in Malasana. Uh, so your yoga squat. So if you come into a table top first, you want to take your knees about to the edges of your mat, give yourself plenty of space, and that same thing here with your feet. Curl your toes under. If you want to use a block, set that up between the feet. And then from here, you just start to walk your hands back and get that block in position. And then uh, and we're just going to try to hang out here a little bit. So use the block if uh, getting into this squat bothers your knees. Again, this can make it a little bit easier, uh, more accessible. And especially if you stay here for a bit, uh, block makes that uh, uh, again, a little bit easier to stay here. Uh, so you're going to take your hands to your heart. Try to press your knees apart. Lift the chest. And so if you're just starting out working through arm balances uh, and you find that your uh, legs start to slip off of your arms real easy, uh, it can be beneficial to go through a class that's got a bunch of hip openers and, and practice, practice those until you get a, a little bit more uh, flexibility in that area. Uh, that can make your, your arm balances a, quite a bit easier. So let's stay here for just a little bit longer. Again, if it bothers your knees, you want to come out of it right away. And then we're going to release. So to come out, take your hands to the floor first, and then your knees. Curl your toes under, have a seat on your heels. Uh, so I like to uh, use a block for crow pose, especially if you're just starting out and you're just learning how to, uh, again, get balance on your hands. Again, this can make it easier because it you know, lifts the floor if you don't have nearly as far uh, to come into it uh, before you can take lift off. We're going to work a little bit on hands first, and then the uh, grip that you need to try to get here with your hands. So take your hands about shoulder width apart, spread your fingers just as wide as you can get them, and then start to lean forward. Again, so get your shoulders above your fingertips, and then you notice when you do that, you automatically start to grip through the fingertips a little bit more. That's the same action this gripping with the fingers that you want to do uh, when you start to work on getting lift off. Again, it's going to help keep you from falling over. And in case you do fall, again, you're probably going to fall uh, if uh, this is your first time, or even if it's your not, if you've been doing arm balances for a while. Uh, again, you can fall at them, but it's no big deal. It's just part of the learning process. Uh, but do give yourself some space there at the front of your mat so you got a little crash pad going on. So set your block up as if you were going to go back into your yoga squat, and then instead of your feet on the floor, come into a little squat on your block. So your feet are together, uh, but try to snuggle way down here. See if you can get your arms to the inside of your legs and start to lift the heels up. And go ahead and find that same position here with your hands. So again, about shoulder width apart, fingers wide, and then lift the hips up, uh, lift your heels, lift the hips, hug your elbows in, and then again, just like you did in tabletop, the more that you start to lean forward, try to grip through the fingers. Again, look out beyond the front of your hands. And the more that you start to come forward and the more you start to grip your fingers, you might get just a little bit of lift off there with your feet. So give that a shot. Practice that for a little bit. And then come back down. So let's try that one more time. Again, hands shoulder width. Find that same grip with the fingers. You want to really squeeze the legs in on your arms. Again, look forward. This time, try to pick one foot up, but leave the other foot on the block. And then set it down, try the other side. Now see if you can lift both feet off of your block. Again, fingers gripping, gaze us to one spot. And then lower yourself down. Let's see if we can come into a yoga squat from here. So set on your block. If you need to, again, try to press the knees apart, lift the chest. So if you're still working on getting lift off, try this one more time with the block. Otherwise, we're gonna we're try it without the blocks. And so we can get into it from a squat here. 
Again, snuggle way down. Get your arms way to the inside of your legs. Hands shoulder width. Lift the heels. Grip the fingers. Look forward. Lean forward. Again, pick one foot up. Try to get the other foot to lift. And toes toward one another. Uh, and then release. But, so that's how you get lift off in crow pose. But stay tuned for more videos on arm balances, other yoga poses, short yoga classes. And check out theyogamat.com uh, for full length classes live and on demand. See you next time. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that class. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to get a new short form class every week. And if you like what you see and you want to support me, go become a member at theyogamat.com. You'll get unlimited live virtual classes every week and access to our on-demand library with over 500 classes in it. Have a great day. Namaste.